tools that you will need, a 15 and 12 millimeter socket, a wrench with an extension because it will be tough trying to, you know, torque it from like up top here. Uh, you know, you have space to torque them down here. That's where this, I'm not sure what to call this, um, like a joint, a joint swivel extension, you know, uh, to get in there to have more um, stability. Once again, there's a bunch of wind, so I apologize, but it's a thick boy. It's about like an inch and a half, almost two inches. Here you have the VQ plug stamp. So clearly you want this you know, to be facing outside when you look at the engine bay. So I did try to put this on first and it's not fitting. So I guess to put them backwards. So what you have to do now, this might be the same case for you. It might not be. So I'm gonna have to take this off. Um, this bracket, I'm gonna put it on this side and I'm gonna put this one, you know, vice versa and switch it. So yeah, very simple, very easy. So now this one's gonna go on this side and that should be able to fit because it does, you can't see, you know, this is straight and this has like an angle going that way. All right guys, so I was having a little bit of trouble with fitment. You see this ashy uh, line right here? It's kind of like a metal, so it is stiff. You know, it's not like a hose where it's gonna bend, but I was having trouble putting this bracket down because this wasn't moving. Uh, so I have to get it underneath, as you can see. So you're gonna want to you know, push this out and then put the bracket inside. That way you will have a good fitment. <laughs> you're gonna want to use a wrench to get to this one because you really can't fit a socket there because there's not really much space. And then, you know, you torque this down. I really didn't even use the, I mean, you really can't even use the Allen socket because how the hell are you gonna fit that? So um, kind of poor design, like it should have just been um, a hex nut like this on the back so you could hold it and then torque the bolt down. But I mean, it still works. I, I have been driving this around for a while now, uh, again, like three days. Uh, do I see a difference? Um, a little bit, a little bit, you know, and that's with supported mods, you know, like BC coilovers, um, Z1 suspension parts and whatnot. Um, again, it's not anything crazy that you're gonna notice, but it's mainly just for looks, I'd say. It does help a little bit. Um, if you don't really know much about strut bars, they are to uh, stiffen up the chassis because when you're hitting corners, you know, the reason why your body rolls is because, um, you know, the car kind of has an angle, if that makes sense. So this is to keep, you know, both sides aligned the same. That's why you have um, sway bars, you know, thick sway bars. That's because of the timing cover, bro. I gotta take care of that. Shit. I feel like a BMW. All right, so one final look. Totally scratched up, man. So this is like about a month later because it took me a while to finish up the video and just close it off. But yeah, it definitely complements, you know, the rest of the, the parts, the Tomic cab. And then I'm making a video on this custom coolant reservoir to eat from eBay. Anyways, guys, that is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. See you the next time.
I have a kind of like a damaged Kuruma Z bumper. There's a crack right there, but I'm gonna sell it for 350. <laughs> I can't believe this shit fits, bro. Pop the hood, bro. Pop the hood. What's up, Alex? It's a 6.0 out of a truck. 6.0.